Well guys, this is a video that I never wanted to make. Um, this might come to a shock to a lot of you. Maybe not, I don't know. About 97% of the videos that we produce on this channel were all filmed with some sort of smartphone. Mainly because of convenience, but not totally because of convenience. Um, when I first started the channel, it was with the Samsung Galaxy S5. This is the S7 that I used after that, and the one I'm filming on right now is the Galaxy S10 Plus. Mainly because of the size, it's convenient, it's always in my pocket, and they do such good video these days. And the autofocus on my phone is so fast, and I love just being able to jam it real close to something and to get that nice sharp image that I'm looking for without like it searching for focus or taking forever. Something that like point and shoot cameras in my mind have always struggled with and I'm not running around there with a huge like DSLR or a mirrorless camera, something that I gotta, you know, wear a backpack for and pull out and make sure it's just out of convenience. One of my biggest problems has always been wind noise where like you know your bigger cameras you can hook up an external mic but like like i said i need something that's going to fit in my pocket be convenient so i've always done videos with the smartphone some of our water hunts our water videos i do some filming on an olympus waterproof tg5 i believe it is i even got away from that a little bit because of like the gopro like the GoPro for the water, you know, as long as I can get the live action and then I bring it over to the boat and usually do some close-ups with my smartphone or the Olympus. The GoPro does great in the wind because I have what's called a wind slayer on that. Um, a couple years ago, I found this little thing, which is a shotgun mic that's, you know, directional. And then I, I got a little lapel dead cat or whatever you want to call it, wind protector. And that would go in right in my phone and boom this thing did awesome in wind it, it what i've been using probably the last couple years and uh up until recently i've been having some audio issues and i didn't know it until about four hunts in i went over and started looking over the footage and i lost some audio i don't know if this thing went bad or just the nature of the hobby I got some dirt in the connection or something but I have a whole bunch of clips not all of them sorry I was waiting for the wind to pass there's it's a little breezy out here and I'm, I'm running naked on the phone that you're watching this on like I said I don't know what was going on but I have a bunch of clips that's just nothing but static I don't even know what I was saying to voice over what I was saying or what was going on. Um, we're still going to use those videos. The next four videos we post are going to be um, some voiceovers involved with them. I'm going to try to make them as entertaining as I can. Uh, but I just wanted to let you guys know what was going on the next four videos we're posting. I was having some audio difficulties and I'm believe me, I'm not pleased about it. But as soon as this happened, I went online and started searching different cameras and different options. And I came across something that I wanted to share with you guys. No, this is not a sponsored thing. I did not want to spend $750 on this right now. But I needed something that was compact, that fits in my pocket, and does good in the outside elements, mostly with the wind. And this is what I came up with. It's the Sony ZV-1, and it comes with a little dead cat that fits into the hot shoe that's a wind protector. It, it slides right on over top of the, the microphone there. And I've been using this lately, and it's made my life pretty easy. It's got a like, nice little flip-out screen that rotates, so I don't usually hold the camera like that and look at myself because then you're not looking at the actual lens you're looking at yourself something that you know a little pet peeve I have with a lot of videos that you see you know they're not looking at they're like looking over here they're looking at the screen instead of looking into the lens but this is the camera that is now going to be dedicated Hoover cam it you know turns on and off when you flip open the screen goes in your pocket pulls out it's uh 
the direction we're going. I was searching like mirrorless cameras and DSLRs and everything in between. Now, the only problem with this thing is it's not waterproof. And I don't know what kind of dust ratings it has. I, every time I come home now, I got to take it and like wipe it all down and blow out the, the wind moth and this, that, and the other thing. Uh, I don't know. I just wanted to keep you guys in the loop that we've been having some, some problems and it sucks because it makes editing even that much harder. And now I just feel like I'm rambling. If you guys are watching this, thank you for the support. Clicking on whatever pops up that we post. And uh, I'm excited for a new chapter. with Not totally without cell phones because I'm filming on one right now. But without this. And it's like I, I could have probably just got a new one. I had this thing on there for years and it just started happening to me. But I didn't want to deal with it ever again. So hopefully that's my solution to the problem. I'll link the Sony ZV-1 in the description if you guys are interested in getting a camera or using what we're using or whatever. I don't know. Like I said, it's it's 750 bucks and it does a pretty dang good job. It's not perfect, just like there's no perfect metal detector. If there was, I would swing that one all the time. But I'm sorry, companies, but all you have to do is ask us, detectorist, what we want in the machine. We'll tell you. and. It'll probably be closer to the perfect machine. Um, but that's it. My new rig. I like it. It's really fast autofocus. It's tiny. It fits in my pocket. And it does really well in the wind. See you guys on Wednesday. God bless. Bye-bye. Throw this reel to porch.